Hello everyone. Welcome to AJJ Engineering. Today I would like to discuss with you about heat treatment process tempering. The steel become hard and brittle by the quenching process after heating. So high stresses can occur in the structure of the material that cracks are produced and the material silvers to pieces like glasses. In order to eliminate those negative effects and give the material the useful hardness, it is tempered after having been hardened. That is it is heated once again. The toughness of the material is increased again at a justifiable decreases of the hardness and strength. Tempering temperature relates to the purpose of use of the workpiece. The, the higher the tempering temperature, the lower the hardness and the tougher the steel. When a blank steel is heated, a 0.2 mm thick oxide layer is produced on the surface. This oxide layer becomes dis discolored in dependence on the temperature. Apart from temperature gauges, temperature can also be estimated by the color. Types of tempering. 1. Tempering from outside The cold workpiece is slowly heated by means of approximate heat sources and after having reached the tempering temperature that is between 200 degrees Celsius and 500 degrees Celsius it is cooled. 2. Tempering from inside The workpiece is shortly congealed after having been hardened so that only outer layer is cold. The residual heat penetrates from inside after, after having reached the tempering temperature. It is cooled down. The approximate value for the tempering time for com compact work pieces 1 to 1.5 hours for 20 mm thickness of work, work pieces. Tempering colors for plain carbon steel. The below table shows uh, tempering colors uh, and temperature and particular use of that hardness values.